right. Man, that was kind of stressful getting everything like together in five minutes I to know. record this episode. Yes. Um, we currently don't have a sitter for our son right now, and he just went down for a nap. So we're trying to do. And we were like, all this is this is the opportunity because Darby was too tired to record last night. I she was. said. I'm sorry. I was and last night was like the most sleep. opportune opportunity for us to do yeah, it. Yeah, because he did go to bed early last night. So. I was totally my fault. We're doing it. We got it. Doesn't matter. We're doing it now. We got um, it. We're here. So welcome back to another Chop Chat here at Listen to Lamb Chop. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode, Darby. That felt like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> that felt like an animal. She has a blanket over her legs, and she just went through the table <laughs> to play footsie, and it felt like it's like a, I wasn't trying to play footsie. Was it felt like something furry was going right over my feet. It scared me. Okay. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these episodes uh, with Darby and myself. Please. I hope they're enjoying it with me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have to address the elephant in the room. Last episode. Elephant? Yeah, I misspoke. Last oh, episode. You did misspeak. Um. I misspoke about my Georgia Bulldogs. I said that they had uh, three all-time natties. That's not true. Yeah. Well, now... Well, they have... It is true, but they have more. Well, no, no, no. I said they had two. I said they had two, but okay. now they have... They had three, and now there's four. Correct. Yes. So I misspoke because I said they had two. They actually won in 1942... 1980, 2021, and they 2022. won the 2022 one, baby. Go dogs! Okay, um, but hold on. Isn't it technically they won in 2022 and 2023? No, that's the national championship was then, but they their season that they were national uh, champions. You gotta got go back because it. Okay. it always happens in the new year. Yes. Okay. So. My bad. It's okay. It's a common mistake. I was well, I, especially because. I posted Previously. 2022 national champions last year, and then uh, and then I had to go back in my post and edit the 2021 because I didn't want to look an idiot when I realized. So, but I'm pretty sure the previous one, like especially like 1980, they probably played it during. Is it always in the new year? Like even that one, or was I don't it? know how far back the national championship schedule goes, but yeah, I mean, the past like 10, 15 years, it's been like that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, go dogs. They won it. They beat TCU in the national championship and I mean, won it all. And it was a intense. it was a blowout. Yeah, it yeah. was not a Apparently fun. Apparently, it was to watch. the largest. It's the largest um, deficit in the history of the national championship. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, if you're a Georgia Bulldog fan, at yeah. Least. If you're a TCU fan, it's probably not. Yeah, it was cool. a bad bad day for y'all, but it was okay. Um, so. We are going to talk about, um, I want to go ahead and do the rare amusing insult. Okay. It's a uh, Pollock. Pollock? Yeah, a Pollock. I think, unless I misspelled it. It's, uh, it's a fish, but this says a very stupid or foolish person. Um, hmm. where are the, do you have like any of the origination, like where it originated? No, no, no origin stuff here. Ooh, throat bubbles. Oh. That was me. Did you hear them? Yeah, I did. That's what happened when they just come up and like, you can hear them clearly in the headphones. So I don't know if they actually come across in the actual episode, but like when our, our oh, yeah, headphones, I you hear can it. hear them. Um, oh, I wanted to talk to you about something. You remember how um, I'll say something and I'm like, that's a whole nother story or something. Yeah. And then I get really critical of myself and I'm like, stop saying nother. It's not a word. Blah, blah, blah. It is a word. Really? It's an actual word that dates back centuries. Because honestly, ever since you've started having such an issue with it, I have an issue with it too. Yeah, it, well, I've always like had a little bit of pride on trying to be grammatically correct, even though there are things that I misspeak all the time. Um, but this one was one I would always catch myself on and be like, that's not right. It's it's another, another whole, another entire one, another whole one. Yeah. yeah instead of an, instead of a whole. So it says whole. whole nother. Wrong or right. The history of another goes back longer than you'd think. Um, another is a real word which functions similarly to other and another. And its use traces back to the early 14th century and late 19th century. It became more common to see the word another paired with whole, constructing the phrase a whole another. So it's socially acceptable 
Um, it says, and then if you go down to the bottom of this article, that's from Merriam-Webster as well. We like to get a bunch of facts from Merriam-Webster. Well, they're very reliable. It says, is another wrong? Sometime around the middle of the 20th century, people began to notice it and decry it as a linguistic linguistic abomination. No one minded the phrase, no another word of God. But they certainly would have, someone said, that's a whole nother thing for God to say. So it says that, uh, based on the evidence, we have ultimately ruled that another is indeed a word. It may be informal, but the fact that so many people are talking about it means that it very much exists. So I don't feel so bad anymore. Well, good. For some, I mean, I hear people say it all the time, a podcast and conversations and everything, yeah, and I'm like, it common. sticks out to me. And I'm like, ooh, it makes me mad. But now, I'm not so mad. I'm not so upset about Are it. Are you sure you're not as upset? No, because I found this fact today, and I was like, that's awesome. I'm going to talk about that on the pod because well, I want to bring cool. it up because now I don't feel so... Yeah, it is awesome. I don't feel so it's dumb when I do it. frustrated you. Um, oh, yeah. Have you ever been, like, really confused about the actor's ages? on movies that you watched when you were a kid and stuff. What do you mean? Like, so, for example, like I saw... Like Jason no, 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 God, no. Okay. I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm talking about, like, I saw a post the other day that had, like, Doc and Biff and someone else from uh, Back to the Future, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, gosh, that's that was taken last year. So I was like, man, they look good. Well, then I, I realized that in my mind, I forgot that, like, they went back to the past and back to the future. And, like, uh, that's yeah. not really... I was like, in my mind, those actors should have been a lot older. But uh, it was really because they were put set in a different time in the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, yeah. It was just... I don't know. I don't know if you've ever been confused like that, but it, like, hit me and I was like, oh, well, I'm an idiot. They were in the past they would like that's a very isolated incident like it would just really be for those movies okay are you hearing the same stuff that i'm hearing like is there like weird background noise or is it just me just hearing that? it's the tv coming through the monitor yes okay i just wanted to tell them what it is if they hear it if you hear any background noise we, Sorry, have, the we monitor have a baby monitor on our son that's down sleeping on the couch right now and we have it's a tv on to have background noise for him yeah, so the, if you hear anything, it's the TV. Sorry about that. I don't think they're going to be able to hear it. Okay. Me. They might hear something, but... Okay, I just, if, I just don't want them to be like... What's going on? No, they shouldn't be able to hear that. I don't think... Let Comment down below if you do, though. Um, <laughs> Let us know how good our microphones are. So, I also have a story to tell you about something that happened a couple weeks ago. Not you, but the, um, the listeners, actually. Do I know the story? You do. You're uh, part of it. I'm part of it. I was eating those Andy's mints the other day. And I was rolling up the little, um, you know, like the mints they give you at Olive Garden. And I was rolling up the aluminum into little balls. And I was throwing them across the room at Darby and hitting her like every single time. And uh, she But yeah, hitting... he gets mad at me when I do the same thing with, because um, I eat Hershey's hugs all the time. And so I will roll them up and throw them at him. And he gets mad at me and fusses at me about it. But then he can throw Andy's mint wrappers at me. Anyways. I don't recall you ever really throwing those at me very much. Maybe every now and then, but not like how... I, I was throwing them every single one I was done with. I was throwing them at you. And the point of it was, you were trying to throw them back, and you could not hit me <laughs> at all. Every time she started throwing them back, and she was just like... She couldn't hit me. I was like dodging, ducking, dipping, diving, he and was, dodging. It was crazy. I and uh, I did it. we were both laughing, and I was taunting her, and she like... At one point, she just gets dead serious and looks at me, and she goes, get me a gun and see if I miss. And I was like, okay, I the did point you is over. Not? Yes, you did. You were like, if I had a gun, I bet I wouldn't miss. That's what you said. You got all serious. And I, I was did like, not. I mean, you I think you were joking, so but your face crazy. got serious. That was not, I just, I would not No, that. you did. You did I joke like that. Not. I would not have put it down in my notes had it not been a real thing. You threatened so. me over aluminum balls. That's horrible. Yeah, you look in the reflection, man. <laughs> look inward. I don't think I said that. I don't think I would have said oh, that. I know what the uh, alternative curse word is for this episode, too. Me. Sorry, if we're moving along, I'm trying to get this. I'm not rushing anything, but I do have pre-workout in me right now because I was actually supposed to go work out. But, but then, then we, we this was the sleep. only opportunity we were going to have since he fell asleep to record this podcast. So the alternative curse word for this episode is corn nuts. Corn nuts. Yeah, just 
yell corn nuts if you're ever upset instead of the F word or BS or a hole, just corn nuts. Daggum corn nuts. That was it. Thank you for listening to this episode. No, I'm just joking. We're not done. We're not done yet. Um, oh, oh. Let's hop in to a couple um, would you rathers. Oh, I have one. Can I do one? You can. You want to do yours first, or you yes. want me to? You want to sandwich, sandwich it in between? Okay, we'll sandwich it because I, I, but I, t I took a screenshot of it so I could do it on the podcast. All right. Would you rather be a chef or a doctor? A doctor. Really? Yeah. I would much rather be a chef. No, I'm not happy there. I love you. You would be. I'm sure you. No, that totally makes sense for you. But me, I'm that person. Like, I secretly enjoyed dissecting the frog. Well, you watch all the medical and shows. I watch, oh, yeah, I'm half. I'm half doctor. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are. <laughs> You've been in the hospital enough. You probably picked okay. up some things. Okay. All right. What's yours? Did you have? Uh, yes, I did. It's right here. All right. Yeah. All right. So, what, so I got that this was posted by um, one of those like teacher blogs that I follow on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So it's Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors, or go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren? Ooh, Cody and I have done that. Oh this one. darn it! So what did what? But we haven't got your take. What did you say? I said, um, future. Future? Yeah. And meet your... Meet my great-great-grandkids. Wow. What did you say? I think I said something along the lines of the same thing to warn them. Uh-huh. Or no. Well, you can't do... See, then Not you're the changing... Future. The The To past. learn from the past. I, th I think I would go back to the past and change some things. I know, but what if you changed the things that made you be here? That was my argument, too. The butterfly effect. Yeah. Did mess everything up. See, that's why if I changed the future, like, at least I'm good. Gosh, now, since I've, I've already done that question, I don't know what my answer was the first time. I'm oh. sorry. You'd think that I wouldn't remember right off the top of my head, but that was, like... So many podcasts ago. 15, 16, 18, I don't know, who knows. <laughs> um, would you rather be with someone who eats with their hands or constantly burps and farts at the table? Oh, eats with their hands. I oh. mean, I already am. Oh. I have a toddler. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, he was, eats with their hands or constantly burps and farts at the table? I mean... Because I, I have to live with you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. No. Um, okay. Okay, last one. Would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago or an average person today? I am an average person today. I know, but would you rather have this life or be royalty a thousand years ago? I think royalty a thousand years ago is a lot harder. Would be a lot like being average today. Would it? Right. Well, I mean, besides the special treatment. Oh, yeah. I will say I disagree. But I'm thinking like... But also, think about it. Like, there was beheadings and all kind of stuff. Well, where are you living? You can talk about everywhere? I don't know what to say. Most royalty had stuff like that. A thousand years ago? Yes. Think about it, the queen only ruled for royal, like eight years. You're something. not gonna get your head rolled. Uh, no, but you can like it especially me as a woman. Absolutely not. I would definitely take right now. Alright, you're an average person today. Good. Well, congratulations. <laughs> here we are. Oh, but man. think about it. Yeah, you are just making all kinds I'm of noises. Sorry. See, it I just don't happens. touch things. Oh, I don't have those questions. What questions? Well, I save those for the next episode. They're in a different notebook. Oh. The this or that questions that I was going to do. Oh, yeah. It's okay, though. Um, I do have my talk the talk for this week. Oh, okay. oh I don't do have you. mine. Oh, you don't? No. It's okay. We'll I'm do sorry. a one-man show. It's actually a pretty, it's a highlight because by, by now this is kind of old news when this rolls out. But if, I mean, and everybody's talked about it already, so it's kind of oh, like walked on but it's a really cool story um very inspirational but everyone knows damar what's his last name ham Ham hamlin, hamlin. i think damar it's hamlin. hamlin right mm -hmm. yeah the check. nfl he um played for the bills and against a game with the Bengals that was what supposed to determine something for the playoffs right i don't um, know he got hit with like helmet to chest very very mm -hmm. hard and his heart stopped and he actually went unconscious. Yes, it's DeMar Hamlin. He's a safety. Yeah, safety for the Bills, right? Yes. And he was hospitalized. 
And well, they, so he had to be resuscitated twice on the field. Okay. And then they finally got so they so they resuscitated him, tried to put him in the ambulance. I mean, the ambulance actually drove onto the football field, which was apparently I mean, it's very unheard of. Right. Most of the time, they try to cart him off and then put him in the ambulance. Yeah. But yeah. he was not in any condition. Oh, to it was do a big that. deal. The whole I mean, yeah. everybody were so, like, and they called the game after that. Yeah, they did not continue the game. And yeah. I, from what I've heard, the guy that hit him has struggled with this a lot oh yeah very much so yeah. wouldn't you oh absolutely i would but it's just i mean i mean it was totally because you're it just wasn't, trying to play ball it wasn't even, it wasn't even almost a, kill someone well it wasn't yeah. even an illegal hit or anything was it it was it not well he did lead with his head pretty hard like but i mean no i mean not really it he wasn't, wasn't like, like a targeting. targeting to like helmet to helmet it was helmet to chest and he hit him very very hard but it's i mean this happens well no but the exact same thing happened in a hockey game several years ago and he was hit with a puck. He had three mm. levels again. I know. It happens. Um. It happens a lot. Especially when I don't have a drink. But anyway, that's what this, my t my talk to talk has to do with this week. Um, it was it's a TikTok. Really you know, and I think even through the midst of absolute tragedy last night, yeah. I think you saw some of the beauty of football as well, that it's brought us all here together. Um, you know, like, this is a little bit different. I heard... I've heard it all day, like thoughts and prayers. And you just heard Sheriff and Jonathan Allen say, like, all we can do is pray for him. And I've heard the Buffalo Bills organization say that we believe in prayer. And maybe this is not the right thing to do, but I want to, it's just on my heart that I want to pray for it is. the more handling right, right, right now. Um, I'm going to do it out loud. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to bow my head, and I'm just going to pray for him. Um, God, we come to you in these moments that we don't understand, that are hard, uh, because we believe that you're God and Coming to and praying to you um, has impact. We're, we're sad, we're angry, um, and we want answers, but some things are unanswerable. We just want to pray. Truly come to you and pray for strength for Damar, for healing for Damar, for comfort for Damar, to be with his family, to give them peace. If we didn't believe that prayer didn't work, we wouldn't ask this of you, God. Um, I believe in prayer. We believe in prayer. We lift up Demar Hamlin's name in your name. Amen. 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 That was on ESPN. Yeah, that was on uh, NFL Live on ESPN, and he made the decision to pray on public TV. Did you do any more research about that person? No, but it was just pretty cool, though, that he made the decision to pray because he said that they believe in prayer. Um these people as individuals believed in prayer and the team believes in prayer and everything and so DeMar was in critical condition in the hospital and mm -hmm. he prayed on national TV for him um, which I think hosted was hosted a, a prayer vigil at the yeah at the stadium at the hospital at the hospital oh at the hospital mm -hmm. oh, like immediately had, like, after at the stadium. I'm sure they did too but I saw something where it was like everybody met outside the hospital and they did it yeah so it was pretty cool he prayed and, like, on fans like, like Bengals and Buffalo Bills fans were all there together. Like it was just a really coming together kind of a moment. Well, in this like in this day and age, it's just very rare to find someone that's you know brave enough yeah. to speak out and pray and and put their you know their faith out there um, on live TV without you know without and not worrying about the, the consequences or anything yeah. of like hey you can't do that blah 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 mm -hmm. you're canceled so. Um, it was pretty neat. It was pretty yeah, cool to see. Neat. So I just automatically showed Darby, Mom, everybody oh, when yeah. I found out. And then I found out that, like, I think last Sunday's sermon at Mom's church, he preached um, and mentioned that in the sermon. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty cool. I was just thinking the other day that I am so grateful for our bed. You know what I mean? I mean, aren't you? Yeah. I love our bed. I do too. We have a nice king size. It's comfortable. I absolutely love it. I know it sounds like a transition. I, say, I feel like, like there's a bug. Have you heard of this mattress? Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not sponsored. I don't have any sponsors. So, no, no um, I feel like he's about to go, but we need to get a new one. But, no. <laughs> I was just thinking the other night, the majority of Americans are living like, going back to like royalty and like mm -hmm. the old times. I was thinking about how the majority of us are living like princes and, and princesses based on one thing alone. Most of us have a mattress, a pillow, a blanket, a comforter, nice sheets to come home to, right? Yeah. The majority of people in America, yeah. we do. I mean, there are homeless and other people that don't, but most people the do. The percentages, yeah. Um, so 
a lot of other places in the world, you're lucky if you get a blanket, a mat, or some random cushion to sleep on. Or think about how much more comfortable we're sleeping now than our ancestors were. You know what I mean? Oh, you thought, yeah. well, you thought my, about that like through the years, how much that's progressed? Um, well, my grandmother, she has the same, the bed that she has is still, mm -hmm. is like one that they've had for generations. Right. And we just replaced it. And it was, um, and like her mattress was like maybe. I'm going to change the battery real quick. Keep talking. Three inches. Um, tall like I mean it was just so broken down sleep in that at all and but she but she was just, just like that's how she wanted to sleep is on this firm teeny tiny little bitty mattress like we just recently gave her our mattress our one of our old mattresses yeah to up uh, like so that she could have a so nice she would bed. sleep on this little thin mattress yeah it, it was, was like literally hard. like maybe this tall that's crazy. And it was, but it was so heavy. But that's how she was used to sleeping. Exactly. So. And so then, so then when I was asking her like, "Ooh, how do you like your new bed? She was like, honestly, it's a little too soft for my, for my, for me. I just find that That's what I'm saying. Like, no matter what walk of life you come from at all, like, our family from like 100 to 500 years ago have never slept quite as comfortable as we do now, right? Mm -hmm. So, I wanted to talk about speaking of comfort and sheets and everything. We got new sheets for we Christmas. We treated like, ourselves. That was our Christmas present to each other. To each other, yep. We got some nice new sheets. Very first night. Very first <laughs> night. We're sleeping in there. We had just washed them. We just, just washed put them, them on the put bed. Put them on the bed and everything. So great. Our son comes. He sleeps right in the middle between us. Because, yes, we co sleep. He, uh, he's, he, he peed the bed that night. He hasn't done it and hadn't done it in months. That night, pees, fills his diaper, pees the bed, all over the new sheet. So we have to wash them. So then, if you fast forward a little bit. Um, Not much. Yeah, it was like literally less than a week, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I think it was like less than a week. Basically, um, you and him go to bed, right? Mm -hmm. It was his birthday. It was his birthday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lucas's third birthday. Ended up being a throw-up fest. Basically. For everybody. I came home sick. You, you were throwing up? Not as I wasn't much, throwing not up. Not to the degree that he was, but I did come home sick. Well, I thought you said that was sinus drainage. I feel like it was. But okay, well, I Darby apparently had thrown up that day, but Lucas was, like, actually sick. Like, yes. like I still couldn't went hold down anything. They go to sleep. We didn't know this. They go to sleep, and uh, a couple hours later, I go up, and I worked out that afternoon, before dinner, ate dinner, did some stuff on the computer and everything, and then finally went up. So I had to shower before. So I take a shower, I lay down, I set my alarm. I, as soon as I set my phone down, I feel him shifting, rolling over right next to me, and then just this pouring sound. It was and awful. It was I, like an I'm like, oh my gosh, he's throwing up. And it's like, it was, it was as soon as my head hit the pillow, Yeah. it was like 11.30 p.m., my head hits the pillow, that starts happening. I'm like, Darby, wake up, he's throwing up. And we don't have a bucket or anything nearby, so it's all over the sheets, all over our pillowcases, all over. It's all over everything. Then he's about to throw up again, and I'm trying to go get something, and he slips, poor thing, in face plants in his own vomit. Throws cold. up more. It was terrible. I mean, this was, was like the, worst night the ever. absolute nightmare throw up toddler fest ever and like I run I said Darby get the sheets off the bed start start the the load of laundry I'm taking him to the bath so I take him to the bath but he's also thrown up on my shoulder too and all over himself I have to give him a bath after I give him a bath Darby does the laundry we move to his room and where he's supposed to be trying to sleep more often anyway and they both get in the bed we turn on a movie in his room Everything's starting to calm down, and I'm like, well, I have to go take another shower because there's vomit in my hair and my shoulder. <laughs> just got out of the shower, but now i got to go take another one and figure out where I'm going to sleep. So I go take a shower. As soon as I get out of the shower, and I'm starting to dry off. I hear, I hear no, him No, you crying. don't even get to the shower. I don't? You don't even get to go take a shower. You were in oh, there. Oh, I was cleaning something else. You were else. cleaning something else I was else spraying up. Smell Good Spray on yeah. my mattress. He was trying to, like, because the room smelled so bad. Yeah, he was... 
cleaning up one quick thing and then he was getting in the shower. And all of a sudden I start I started the shower with water and then when I, that's why I didn't hear anything and then I walk out and I hear him crying and you saying, it's okay, it's okay and I walk in the bedroom, in Lucas's bedroom and him and Darby are in there and there's more vomit on his bed. So yes. he not only ruined our bed for the night, he ruined his bed for the night. So now there's a guest room downstairs, a guest room upstairs and then couches. Where did y'all sleep? We ended up in the ca on the couch. Oh, that's right. We all ended up sleeping yeah. on the couch we had, we, because he kept throwing up. Yeah. And we didn't know what to do. So we just said, well, we're going to have to stay up with him yeah. with a trash can and be vigilant on trying mm -hmm. to get this under him every time. And he threw up about six yeah, times it was total. six times. It was and it was terrible. Thing. And the last two, it was about, it was just dry heaps, which, you know, it's just off like I know like from experience like how well, yeah, awful for that him, is. It was terrible because he didn't know what was and going on. He was for scared. him like you just hate that he feeling felt for that. him. Yeah. It was it was not good. It and then apparently scary. after we went to work the next day, after only three and a half, four hours of sleep that night, which yeah, was awful. We were exhausted. Um my mom stayed with him and apparently he threw up one more time the next morning. And then after that he was fine. Yeah, he yeah, that was it. So. But it was just so ironic the first week <laughs> of the, the life sheets. of our brand new sheets. <laughs> we were so they excited. We not, hadn't gotten new sheets since They are well worn now. Oh they're very. We washed I don't anymore. even know how many times we've had to wash our sheets they've since been, we got them. They've been peed on, thrown up on, so and then slept on for at least like almost a month now. So it's just like nothing. Like with a toddler, I mean, just within nothing the first, stays new very oh, long. No. Within like the first three weeks of those sheets that we've had, we we were down like almost washing them like twice a week. <laughs> it was, was bad, just man. Awful. It was uh, it was pretty bad. It was. Oh, so then, um, something else funny that happened like a couple weeks ago. Darby texts me. I'm at work. I've been like trying to meal prep and eat right and everything, and I was like really, really cutting. Um, a couple weeks before Christmas happened, and I was doing really, really well. Out of the blue, Darby goes, she just texts me, hey, you want anything from Chick-fil-A? And I'm like, any other time, that's like, oh, thanks, babe, that, that's awesome. Yes, I do, give me this, 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 this. But dieting, I can't have any of that. Like, even like the healthy stuff Chick-fil-A offers is not healthy enough for like the diet that I was doing. And so basically, I'm sitting there like, 